Hey, John here walking you through the steps of creating your own dashboard playlist. You may want to use these dashboard playlists if you want to have the dashboards up on a TV, around your office, um, and rotating so that you can see different metrics throughout the day. Now to create a dashboard playlist, you simply come to a dashboard and go to present mode and select rotate dashboards. Now when you come in here, you'll notice that there's three playlists that you can create. Now every user on your account gets up to three playlists. So we're talking about every admin, analyst, and viewer. And essentially, because you have an unlimited amount of viewer licenses, you do have an unlimited amount of playlists that you can create. Now when displaying these playlists up on your TV, we do recommend using that viewer license solely because admin and analysts have one week permissions, which means that after one week a moto will appear asking you to create a pat or put in your password rather. Um, and this could be time consuming and something you don't want to happen when you have dashboards up on the TV around your office. Whereas the viewer license, they have a uh, two year permission. So you only have to have see that modal every two years. Now when you're ready to create a playlist, simply uh, select a empty playlist and start dragging and dropping the dashboard you want to include on this playlist. So I'm going to create a financial playlist. I'll bring over a financial overview, a COGS detail, expense detail, uh, and even a revenue dashboard. Now you can change the order that they appear by dragging and dropping. And then when you're ready, you simply click save and present. We can see that the first dashboard opens up in present mode here. Now in present mode, you can change the background color to be either the light background or this dark background. And additionally, you can change the cadence that the rotation occurs uh, for these dashboards by clicking in this section in the top right corner. I can change from 30 seconds to one minute to every two minutes and even up to every five minutes. This circle around the pause button will rotate and fill in as we get closer and closer to the time for the dashboards to rotate and, uh, and change. And you can pause that rotation whenever you want simply by clicking that button. Now that's about it. If you have any further questions, please reach out to our support team at support at brightgage.com.